Hey, Chris here. I just got back from Area 51. Oh, yeah, drinking some tea out of my new cup. Let's talk about when you have multiple microphones in the same room and how to obtain the best separation so that there's as little mic bleed as possible. Mic bleed is when when there's, let's say there's two people in a room and this person has a microphone and they're talking and, but then when this person talks, some of, and th they have their own microphone and they're talking, but some of this person's voice goes all the way over into that guy's mic. And some of this person's voice goes all the way over into that mic. That's called mic bleed. It happens when you're in the same room. So how do you avoid something like that? And really the question is, how do you, when you have multiple people in the same room, how do you capture the best audio? So there's a few fundamentals here. It all comes down a uh, well, it mostly comes down to the angle at which you have the microphones. So if you have two people in the room with two microphones, they should the microphones should face away from each other, and then the participants should directly face each other. So that's the most separation you could get. That's a lot better than if two people were sitting side by side. Like if someone was sitting next to me right now, and we each had our own microphone pointing that way that's not very much separation because my voice in this mic is going to, this mic is almost still pointing at me, right? So you want to point them away from each other. If you have three mics, you know, you can point them at 120 degree angles. Again, the furthest away. If you have four mics, you uh, point it at 90 degree angles. And I'm going to show you a picture now of my previous studio in New Jersey. You could see here, the table here, uh, I could have, and I have four microphones on boom arms. And when there was four of us, we would sit, you know, equidistant from each other and all the mics would be 90 degrees apart. And if, but if I only had one guest here, I would sit in the back here, like right here. And so if I only had one guest, I would seat them directly across from me in this chair right here so that we were both facing each other. And if I had three guests, I'd maybe move this person a little bit over this way and then maybe this person move a little bit toward the center. So then it would be three people, but we'd be equidistant apart. So, all right. And the only other thing, well, I should say the one other thing that will prevent the most bleed and allow you to capture the best audio with multiple people is the best thing to do is that everyone's mouth needs to be close to their microphone. When you have multiple people in one room, everybody's got to be right on their microphone. They have to be. You just have to. That'll cut down bleed a lot, and that'll make each person's voice closer and more intelligible. It's just... So So by pointing the mics away from each other and having every participant stay close to the mic, that's you, you can... You can capture the best audio that way. So that's the little tidbit I wanted to share today. Don't forget my podcast engineering show. That's my podcast. You can hear it wherever, everywhere, um, except on Spreaker. I had a listener recently, yesterday, message me that they listen to podcasts on Spreaker and my show's not on there. So now I have to, I, I didn't know Spreaker was a platform where I could register my show. Um, anyway, uh, the Daily Goody. These are little tidbits, emails that I send out two, three times a week. And of course, podcastengineeringschool.com. That's where the main course is, where I teach people how to be professional podcast engineers and earn a great living from home as a podcast producer. Yeah, baby. We love it. All right. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you want to like and subscribe, please do. Uh, I'm making videos every day. I hope you like them. All right. Thanks. Bye.